The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. It doesn't matter whether you're sunning yourself, not sunning yourself, racing motorcycles on the Isle of Man or on the farthest away part of the United States in Saipan. Yes, Saipan, part of the United States. Most people don't know it. In fact, there's a uh, pretty good joke about uh, the uh, DEA agent who would regularly call from Saipan, and no one uh, at the uh, DEA knew that that actually was a territory of the United States. Uh, apparently, lots of people came and go, they uh, went there, and the answer was always the same with someone new. They didn't know Saipan was part of the United States. Oh, well. Uh, what else do we have happening here? Well, uh, as long as you're here, doesn't matter whether it's in Sa Saipan, listening in Saipan, or maybe having a, a beer on the Isle of Man, it's time to be here. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we uh, got going on for today? Um... I'm still kind of focused on the bonds. Uh, we had a lot of money thrown early this morning at the market. Uh, the TLT got up to 144.71. It's printing 144.18. Uh, that money started to come out, I don't know, an hour or two ago out of the bond market uh, and into the equities. We'll see if this can stick. That's having a little problem getting onto the positive side on the S&P. But uh, we shall see. And, of course, uh, uh, with uh, China really closed, uh, we're probably going to have a big move one way or the other come Friday. I'm worried uh, that uh, – or not worried, but uh, wondering whether or not we're going to have a huge gap in the uh, close from last Friday to the close uh, – or the open tomorrow or Friday morning on – which is actually Thursday night in China – so um, I'm going to get some extra sleep and think about maybe spending the night uh, uh, at least taking a look to see on what happens. Uh, most people, if you're new to the market in the last couple of years, don't, remind, uh, don't remember that China uh, had a lot of stocks uh, in 2015, I think, 2014, 2015. They just said you couldn't trade them. You got them. You still own them. That's fine but you're not going to be able to trade them for a year. Uh, and I think that there's part of that kind of worry coming back uh, in China using the heavy hand uh, in its markets, but we'll find out about that on Friday. I think that there is still a little bit of that. Um, and uh, probably the only kind of news in the market that I think is really interesting is that you have an inverse leverage cannabis ETF M-J-I-N, available now. So we shall see about what's going on. But, uh, yeah, uh, this is option, uh, options uh, delta neutral day. So maybe we saw a little bit of that coming in. I'm not actually so sure, mostly because I continue to be rather bearish until we see something better uh, than we see in the TLT right now, which is, um, anything below about 145, I think, is problematic, 145.50. 144.15 isn't that far away. Yesterday, we went down in there. The Fed threw a lot of money early in the morning. Normally, they do it on Thursday. Uh, but they did uh, it right before the open this morning. Uh, the market still kind of sold off. Didn't really matter that much. Uh, but now we've got kind of uh, people thinking, well... Maybe it's not as bad as everybody thought. So we'll go out of the bonds. We'll start buying some uh, equities. But uh, as they say, it's not over till the fat lady sings. 
uh, I'll be more interested in seeing what the closing prices are today and whether the S&P can actually get uh, and go uh, positive. There's been, you know, a lot of reasons to think that maybe we turn this thing around uh, and start heading up uh, for the fall. Um, but uh, every time we come down there and hit those lows, there are some buyers. Uh, but uh, I'm going to call it... Uh, Diminished, um, I'm going to call it diminishing returns as we continue to not go higher. In fact, we really need to close about three se uh, 4370 on the S&P cash uh, to get back into a bullish position. So anyway, um, give me a call today, 877-927-6648. Uh, email me at path at tfnn.com. And of course, you can always uh, put a message in the den. But that's kind of it. But I think uh, if we're expecting a great deal to happen in the markets, I don't think it happens until market opens up on Friday, along with the James Bond movie, which I hear is uh, got people flooding into the theaters. I don't think it opens here till Thursday night or Friday, uh, at least in the hamlet of Clearwater, Florida. So... Let us uh, go take a look at some of the rest of what's going on um, with a little history. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1942, Chester Carlson is issued a patent on a process called electrophotography. Now commonly known as photocopying, it wasn't until 1946 that the company had the interest in pursuing a photocopying commercially. The Halloid Company uh, finally licensed Carlson patent, treated, uh, treated the word zoography to differentiate the process from traditional photography. Eventually, photocopying became such a large part of the company's revenue that the Halloid Company changed their name uh, to Xerox. I think there was a little bit more, and that was halitosis. It was probably too close to the Halloid uh, company but uh hey eh, guess what that was kind of kind of amazing that people didn't see the use for that for a long time of course the war was going on but uh hey, you got to think a lot of things needed to be photocopied in uh during the war but uh that's what they had mimeograph machines for anyway um that's kind of it let's go ahead do we have enough time to actually get to a chart we shall see, because there was a couple of things that I wanted to get to. Uh, there it is right there. Um, two, 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 that we already had questions on. And the first one is AAU. So we'll take a look at that. Alden Minerals. There's just not a lot going on in this, is there? Eh, 400,000 shares for 38 cent stock. Uh, kind of tough. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if I can say much about that. Let's look at the GDX. See anything going on there. Uh, as we said, you wanted uh, this to pop above. You got that today in the GDX. You'd like one more kind of dip below it. And then generally the next run is the one that you want to buy. So you're getting close. If you're long this thing already, yeah. Time to sit on your hands. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month and try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. And as we turn uh, question in the den, why would anybody want an inverse uh, marijuana fund? And all I can say is at Tilroy at 300 bucks, I wish that there was some way to have shorted it. But uh, we do digress. Um, well, looks like uh, there's two problems. That is that the uh, market's going up. The TLT continues to melt. Uh, closed below 140 Four would be fairly bearish for the bounce today. Um, the market's gotten pretty good at ignoring just about anything that potentially could go bad. We're nowhere close to getting back into the trend line, though, uh, that uh, when this thing has broken and really done nothing more than pop to 145.46 uh, on it. I continue to watch that. Uh, we, I think it was back in May. Uh, we saw it move, we saw it move, we saw it move, and then the market finally broke. Uh, and that's probably the same thing. Doesn't matter how much money uh, the Fed starts throwing at it, uh, it still looks like people are selling it. And eventually that will infect uh, the rest of the equity markets, except those stocks that don't need it. So probably not uh, beyond the scope to see uh, the indexes run by a handful of companies maybe doing a little better. They don't need cash. And the bulk of the market not doing as well. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, but uh, what can you say? Uh, we'll see. 144.10 on the TLT. Okay. What else do we have here? Uh, in... F L X. Um, we had a big thrust yesterday in Netflix for unknown reasons, uh, some decent volume. Um, you didn't hit the high again today. We'll see what happens by the close. Um, a lot of times, uh, everybody just loves to run the shorts before these things turn. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, still keeping an eye on Tesla. Um, just a little bit more sideways action. My belief is that uh, when this finally, in the next couple of days, hits 
this trend line up and fails will be where you want to short it. We talked to, to somebody yesterday about that. Uh, but um, I, I'm looking through my list of stocks, a great deal of them. And, you know, why they bounced off the lows, they're really not doing that much better. I want to take a look at uh, Twitter for Robbie. And, of course, uh, if you want, you can always get me uh, at uh, path at tfnn.com. Uh, to come out here, like, come on, what am I doing here? Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't see any reason to get excited. You got to bounce. Uh, volume's okay, but it's not uh, great. Um, really doesn't look like you came off any lows. You're maybe back into the trading range. Uh, but I think all these companies have uh, a lot of problems going forward. Uh, Faceless book, um, really just gone sideways here uh, into that uh, inside day of the candle two days ago. Uh, 322.70 is the low. Uh, you had a lot of volume yesterday, not so much today, a little bit on the head side. Uh, could you come back up into the trend line, I think? But this thing may be done for the year. Uh, it's awful hard to get people to start buying its stuff that they're hoping that's going to go up into Christmas uh, when they know that the next month is probably going to continue to be rather brutal for the faceless book. But uh, we shall digress. And see, what else do we have? Uh, da, 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 TLT. 144.03, I'm watching that 144 mark. Uh, other things going on, i uh, got a question about the SMHs. Uh, the biggest problem I have, uh, and I was going to talk about it earlier and forgot, and that is uh, all these uh, 500,000, actually now 550,000 containers uh, sitting off the coast of uh, California. Um, I went into Sam's Club on Saturday or Sunday. I uh, went to um, Walmart, one, one, one Walmart on Monday night, another one here today at lunch. The Christmas shelves are empty. Now, I don't know if it's just something in Florida or around here, uh, but the two really largest stores have aisles and aisles and aisles uh, waiting for Christmas stuff to show up. Um, you got to think 550,000 containers are going to take a little while for uh, the big uh, road uh, truck drivers to get going. But I'm thinking that there may, why it may not be an Apple thing. It may not be a Microsoft thing. But if you're talking about goods that have to come across in containers, I saw an interesting quote last night on the prices of containers if you want that container here in the next four weeks. Uh, it had been somewhere around 15 to two grand a container to ship it. Um, but with all the backup, if you wanna to go to yet another port other than Long Beach, uh, go up to uh, uh, Washington State or Oregon or some of the other ones on the northern side or even up into Alaska, to get your uh, stuff offloaded, $20,000. Now, why didn't this bother Microsoft as much or Apple? Well, most of the iPhones, when they initially ship, are coming off the uh, assembly line. Same thing with a lot of laptops. And those things get airmail. They got the big 777s flying across uh, the, uh, the ocean. Uh, and, you know, for the most part of it, I think you could say container pricing and the, and the price for uh, being on a jet are almost the same right now if you want it in the next couple of weeks. So there, that actually may be a boon for uh, the uh, airlines uh, as they charge more for freight. Uh, certainly the freight airlines uh, probably will be doing better uh, as anybody that actually needs such stuff. 
but uh, it's uh, I'm it's hard to you know maybe it's anecdotal, so I'm not going to do much about it right yet. But uh, I bumped into a neighbor who has a Ford. It's a black one. I don't know what it is. Looks like some kind of standard four door thingy station wagon. Who knows anymore? Uh, anyway, I think it was a Fusion. Maybe not. Could be. All I know is it had 38,000 miles on it, and it needs a new engine. And it's got oil in the uh, water in the oil. Um, three weeks to get a new engine, and that's if they're lucky. So he's just going to drive it around till the engine blows up because they're going to replace it anyway. But uh, kind of interesting that it takes three weeks, and that's if you're lucky to get an engine. Uh, I'm thinking this stuff is just getting worse. It's not getting better. We'll be back in a minute. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, uh, Ruby in the Den was nice enough to uh, post this about uh, some of the comments from uh, Energy coming on. And uh, do, 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 do I have, should have it here. Crude oil down a buck sixty after being up. Um, I can't remember if I was talking to Steve or emailed him or something, but there were a bunch of, of uh, energy stocks that all were on DD9. I mean, maybe five or ten of them. It was a ton of them. Um, and nice little 
kind of a topping pattern here, not as, you know, not horrific. Uh, but uh, XLE back to 52-ish, probably wouldn't be uh, that big a deal, would it? Uh, that, of course, is a lot of uh, threats uh, to the to the market, but uh, that's it. Anyway, uh, TLT, I'm keeping an eye on it, 144.10. And uh, eh, what else can you say? Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I got this. Okay. And let's see, you got a couple more emails here, so let's check that out. For some reason, I've been getting a lot of my mail at about right when I close the show, although people have been sending it to me uh, halfway through the day. Um, if you've got something you want to look at, make sure and email me now. I'll keep an eye on it to make sure. Anyway, uh, e uh, XLE. Eh, you know, maybe just ready for a little bit of a pullback anyway. Uh, 382 would take you to 51.68. That's not all that bad. Uh, other things that we can look at. We looked at the SMHs. Uh, looked at the XME. Uh, we'll see uh, how Amazon did. It was threatening some lows out here. Actually bounced. I'm not exactly sure. Not a lot of volume in it either, certainly way below the trend line. So it's not really doing anything or making much of a signal. Um, you actually had higher volume at 31.76, so you have an opportunity to come back and get that. Um, I opined a bit about Walmart uh, and I uh, maybe four or five days ago about Amazon for the same reason. And that is these companies are the ones that depend on huge amounts of shipping from China uh, and the Orient uh, at the lowest rates possible. Uh, I can only imagine what's going to happen over the next couple of months uh, if it's 20 grand to get a container shipped anywhere instead of uh, two grand. Uh, but uh, keep an eye on that. Um, okay. So, yeah, I don't see any reason to say Amazon hasn't, or Amazon has bottomed so far. I'd still want a retest of that, uh, what is that, October 4th low, or at least get a little closer to it. One more push uh, below would be interesting. Uh, we talked about Microsoft. Um, and Apple, we'll look at both of these. Again, probably less important for Microsoft, more important for Apple since they sell a lot more hardware uh, to get stuff off those assembly lines in here uh, to sell. Got a good day in Microsoft. Um, what was the high here? You just filled half the gap down. Uh, the gap down was on 43 million shares. You're up on 17, 18 million shares. You filled half of it. Uh, and almost a 50% retracement, uh, that would be uh, 293.04. And what did you get today here? Uh, 292. So could you get a little bit more, maybe even fill the gap? I'm not saying pull the trigger short on Microsoft. I don't think there's a lot of cash there, but uh, interesting nonetheless. Okay. Do -do -do. Okay. See if anything else out here. Um, any other thoughts on gold? No, this the market. Maybe it's waiting for the market to make some kind of low. And the question is, are we beating out a low or are we just going to break through those lows that we come out there and get? And like I said, it's kind of interesting to see the Fed push a lot of cash in the market. Um, especially to keep the bonds in the right position. Those are being sold to actually probably go into the equity market. So I don't know. At this point, is the Fed just pushing on a string? And I, th I would have to say more than likely. One of the problems uh, that bonds are going to give uh, is more of a long-term issue. Uh, when we look at the VNQ, it finally broke off those highs of 110. It's been headed down ever since. 
Uh, no real sign that this thing's actually t getting ready to take a run back up to even just the 50 percent retracement, which would be 105.69. Uh, and of course, uh, there's no bigger employer uh, than automobiles and uh, construction, especially for non-college grads. So uh, what does the fall look like with a lot of manufacturing shut down and maybe a lot less uh, uh, building uh, or new house building shortly as interest rates go up? As interest rates go up, uh, at the very beginning, a lot of people are fighting to get in uh, and lock in. Uh, so you see kind of a bounce uh, early on in the housing business. And then it really kind of falls off a cliff as people start saying, well, that house is $200 more a month than it was uh, two months ago for the same house. Uh, and it starts to affect housing prices also. But uh, keep a close eye on VNQ and the TLT as we continue on. Um, TLT 144.13. I'm looking at that 144 level fairly hard. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay. Okay. What else? We looked at Tesla. Uh, looked at Netflix. Uh, looked at Microsoft. Oh, we didn't look at Apple yet. Uh, I know Joe asked about Apple uh, earlier in my email stuff here. And we've got another one. Um, okay. You know, again, these things aren't even challenging. They're down trend lines. They're just going sideways out here. Uh, I don't see anything yet that says that you want to be long Apple. Uh, and the question is, um, you know, do they have to fly these iPhones here? And pay additional, you know, generally the first round of them uh, get uh, sent by air. And then, of course, it's not such a big deal anymore once you meet the initial demand. But, um, you know, does that cost them 10, 20 bucks extra a phone or something? They're pretty small things. You can fit a lot of them in a 747. Um, I wonder how many iPhones you can fit in a 747. But uh, certainly probably not coming across by boat too quickly. Uh, but uh, eh, what can you say? A little sideways action out here the last three days on Apple. Eh, not a big push on volume, although you opened lower and went higher. Uh, a lot more I'm going to look at uh, tonight when, when uh, we look at the options and see what uh, options Delta Neutral says uh, tonight. So that'll be tomorrow with uh, Tim Ord, by the way. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. And we have a couple questions. First one from the den, and that is, uh, what do I think of emerging markets? And I think it's a tale of two cities. If you're talking about Brazil with high oil prices, probably looking pretty good. Uh, doesn't have to worry about uh, shipping oil anywhere. Uh, it's not going to California, so it doesn't have to worry about going into Long Beach or up the coast uh, or any of those things. So. If you're talking about emerging markets, South America, probably fairly good. Uh, the downside is probably the Pacific Rim of Vietnam, Malaysia, uh, all the uh, Taiwan, all the, or not Taiwan, yeah, not so much Taiwan as um, Thailand, uh, and some of these other ones. You got to think that all that stuff sitting out there, 550,000 containers uh, all at anchor not going anywhere anytime soon um, you know what if uh, we heard the president say uh, I'm going to send the National Guard there we're going to do whatever it takes to start getting these um, these things off the ships and onto uh, the trains and uh, behind semis to get all this stuff delivered I'd probably be a lot more positive on it I think there's some union issues, which is why uh, it's been done in the UK, but it has not done here in the United States. Uh, there's a lot of effort, probably politically and pressure for him to protect the unions there. But uh, you know what? Uh, until that stuff's get going, um, everything's just going to back up. Uh, it's going to back up like uh, the toilet on a uh, senior citizen's tour bus uh, in a, a cheese tasting uh, foray across Wisconsin. It's going to be bad, very bad. So, uh, like I said, I'm not particularly bullish, even though we've had kind of a pop here today. I think everybody's going to start looking at what Christmas is going to be like without any stuff on the shelf. But uh, that's me. It uh, generally, in fact, another thing. Oh, I wanted to, and I'll get to it. Uh, I had another question about Levi, uh, whether or not I would keep it here. Um, again, a lot of these companies have, you got big volume at a low. A lot of this stuff is made in uh, the Pacific Rim. It does come across on, in, uh, in, containers it's a problem does it go much lower than this no i just don't see a lot of reasons probably to see or get invested in it until we know these guys can start shipping stuff and it actually gets to somebody so yeah you can a tale of two cities uh, whether it comes by air or, or by sea for a lot of the imported stuff 
uh, that's made. And uh, as far as I can tell, this stuff probably comes by uh, giant shipping containers and not by airplanes. Uh, although, uh, if someone uh, gets naked enough, maybe they'll pay up for very expensive jeans air freighted from uh, the Pacific Rim. But I think the last time I looked at some, it said they were made in Malaysia. Can't remember, but that's it. Uh, quite the metaphor. That, I, I like pulling, dusting that one off every once in a while. There's nothing like the visual of uh, a senior citizen's tour bus in, in uh, cheese country. Anyway, uh, what else do we have? To get the idea across, that is. Uh, give me a call, 877-927-6648. So, you know, when you think about it, uh, how many of these companies that actually drive the indexes now have anything to do with shipping? Eh, pretty minor. So we could see the indexes do well, but a lot of these stocks do really horrible. So I'll keep an eye on that. Other things going on. To, 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 we talked about Tesla, uh, TLT, 144.18. Um, question about something else. I know I've got it here. Uh, Best Buy. Uh, BBY. Um, the big problem with uh, Best Buy is uh, television. Uh, in fact, I was joking with somebody about Roku, which we'll look at next here, uh, that uh, I figured 50,000 of those containers probably have Roku televisions on them for Christmas because that's always a big thing to get. You got some light volume over here on Best Buy. Other than cell phones, though, a ton of their stuff comes on shipping, too. And I'm not surprised to see it out here in the gutter and not really getting much of a bounce in it. So I think it's a pretty easy thing to do. I looked at a lot of stocks last night. And that is, if it's shipped by, by uh, surface and by sea, probably not doing well if a lot of its products are. Now, Best Buy, probably not as bad off as others as it makes about half of its money selling cell phones of everything and computers. All that stuff can still fly on an airplane. They can still sell it and still make money. Um, but a lot of their stuff, the cables, the furniture, the all the other stuff that's really high margin uh, for them to sell, the white goods that are made overseas, um, you know, you got 103.42, no bounce out here. You know, I, I would just say that if I'm looking for these things to run, I'm going to look for some presidential edict that says the National Guard is going and going to get those uh, all those shipping containers moving. And uh, we're still going to have at Christmas. So I don't know. Of course, we got people in the government saying we shouldn't have a Christmas. But uh, they're Scrooge. Scrooge McDuck, I would say. Question about NVIDIA, uh, NVDA. Yes, it is. Mostly uh, its products are shipped across. You know, if you're like Apple, you're making 60, 70 percent margin or Intel uh, or AMD, you're making 60, 70, 80, 100 percent margins on a product. Uh, they don't weigh much. Uh, they're kind of small and modular. They weigh two pounds. You can put them on a 747. You can fill that thing full. It can be coming off, uh, coming out the wing exits. But uh, uh, the biggest problem is still just part shortages on a lot of different stuff. Uh, when that gets turns the corner, uh, I think NVIDIA is an easy $300 stock uh, just on the back line. As I said the other day, there was a line here in Clearwater at the, uh, at the uh, Best Buy where they were giving tickets at 7.30 in the morning to come back at 9 and buy them. Uh, it took all of five seconds to give away the tickets, and there were probably 10 or 20 people for every ticket. Uh, that gives you an idea of how many people are trying to get some of the high-dollar video cards and can't get it. AMD, not as bad quite. Most of those tend to be used more on uh, for less for gaming and more for, uh, uh, for mining and stuff. Uh, still a problem we need to turn that corner uh and then till then probably the best the trading range 
Uh, it's worse. It gets worse. And uh, these things break the love. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And as we return, eh, is that right? Better update this. Got a lot of uh, market gas going on here, up seven points on the s and cash. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on it here. Uh, I, I think that the market's in this trading range until Friday with China and how it opens up. If you see a big gap down, uh, it could be very problematic. Uh, other questions, uh, would I look at AMD real quick? Um, if I can actually type AMD. Okay. Um, yeah, you got, again, a lot of these things uh, not bouncing much. And again, a lot of part shortages on stuff, so you can't build full computers. Uh, the best thing right now is uh, laptops. Uh, AMD has done a little bit better in that. But, you know, a lot of the money they make has been on these big expensive chips that go in gaming machines and the biggest problem they have is you can't get video cards so who's buying a gaming machine or upgrading one when you can't get the latest video card so it is the uh, proverbial snake eating its tail on this and that uh, you need the video cards to get the processor sales out here 
as far as I can tell, this stuff's still in a downtrend, although very minorly. It should have bounced within a couple of days. We're now really five days underneath that trend line. It generally is not a good sign. Really need to go back and retest the 99.51 low of a few days ago and keep an eye on it. Again, uh, keep an eye overnight on the bond market. Um, we start seeing China start to slide tomorrow night. But, uh, you know, I'll be th rethinking a little bit tonight when I see the uh, options market come in and see what it has to say. Last month, it was uh, fairly bullish right until the end. Uh, right until it ran into a brick wall. So when you can, not when you have to, we will return tomorrow. But Tim Ward, same bat channel, same bat time.